But let's see if the lower cap coins, how much volatility they're receiving right now. Nothing to the upside, really. Nothing more than 10 or 15%. Here, anything down more than 15% is only three, right? Uh, Mu, IOTX, and Conflux. So not really too much worse here on the lower cap coins yet uh, compared to Bitcoin. Uh, or compared to the other altcoins, I should say. Uh, something like this meme coin is just literally, this meme coin is like a stable coin that just pumps and dumps various times. So it's a, a traded meme coin. Nothing really useful there on that chart, I don't think, except for that if you want it, you know, the lower it gets here to about 30% of a penny, the more likely it's a good buy. IOTX. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Uh, this one, I would say it had it had gone past its accumulation range here, uh, which is four cents. It's at a, but just above that now. It had gone past that area to this area here of seven and a half cents where it got some resistance. And so it's basically going to bounce most likely between uh, those areas, like between three uh, to eight cents here is really, or three to eight or four to eight cents that area is your kind of sideways action with IOTX before its next big pump, right? So um, you're in the lower edge of that right now. So if Bitcoin dumps more and you see IOTX dump more, then that's actually not a, a bad purchase potentially uh, if you think this project will run. And last but not least, Conflux here. Ew. Yeah, good project, right? Uh, but another one that's in danger of falling off a cliff. If it goes below about 11 cents here, that would drop down to about five to seven cents, maybe five to eight cents. So it dropped down to that level, that next area of support, if it were to break below its most, uh, below its October of 23 low. Uh, and that would be a warning sign for a lot of altcoins. If your altcoin, uh, basically had a pump, like it had its, uh, it had, you could either look at it as it's, if it's, it's different if it's a bear market low, right? So this is not Conflux's bear market low in October, but it is a local low, right? And if you go below that area, you basically break the pattern on that chart that it built over the last six to nine months. And so you kind of reset everything there. So a long term, that's a good thing if you're looking to, uh, you know, pull, uh, what do you call it, gather up the project. But, um, that makes this chart a lot weaker if it breaks below that level. So I'll maybe show you guys a few of those coins. If your coin had its bear market lows in August, September, October, and it gives back all of its gains from that October to spring pump, that I would say going into new all-time lows, that's a lot. Like you really have to be convicted in, in um, what do you call it, uh, accumulating your coins with those patterns. So again, this is why it's important to look at multiple coins in the market here to kind of see patterns and be like, ah, I see Pulse Chain in that category. I see Conflux in that category. I see, you know, a lot of other potential projects in that category. So um, it's good to kind of see the, the general um, movement in the market here. 